Good morning, this is uh, Rashad Mitchell. Uh, coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series of professional sports teams that didn't win the championship during that season part 66. And I'll be talking about the 2001 St. Louis Rams. Um, now I'm in a new decade. I finished the 90s yesterday, now I'm into the 2000s decade. So we're going to talk about the St. Louis Rams who set a franchise record for wins, 14. Um, they also had a perfect 8 0 on the road. They were 8 0 on the road. Quarterback Kirk Warner going to win second league MVP. Kurt Warner won it in 1999, March 4th won it in 2000. So they had, you had three Ram players, excuse me, three, excuse me, two players win the, um, the award in the last three years. Warner won it two in the, in the three years and Falk won it in 2000. So they went 14 and two. They blew out the Packers 45-17, beat the Eagles 29-24, but lost in one of the great upsets in Super Bowl history to the Patriots that lost their dynasty. 20-17. Uh, the Rams also became the first team in NFL history to open three consecutive seasons with six straight wins and the first to score 500 or more points in three consecutive seasons. Uh, the Rams returned to Super Bowl for the second time after winning their first title two years earlier against the uh, Tennessee Titans, but this time against the 11 5 New England Patriots, Bill Belichick and a young Tom Brady. The, the Rams were expected to, to win by many, rightly so, to win that Super Bowl. But Anna Vim Terry hit the uh, game winning, clinching field goal, and he was able to uh, win the Super Bowl, put, off the, uh, put on the upset. This will be the final season with the Rams as a great show on turf, as Kurt Warner struggled the following two seasons with the team. He was later replaced by Mark Bolger. So that's what um, those Rams teams were about. They were, they were the great show on turf because they were so fast, they were so explosive, and they, they were so quick to score an even. You know what I'm saying? That's why they were 14 and 2. So they were so good those three years from 99 to um, 2001. Now, let's look at the awards. Obviously, uh, most Falk won Offensive Player of the Year. He was an all pro, pro bowler, Kirk Warner, same as well, a pro bowler, uh, and an all pro. Bruce, Isaac Bruce, Tory Holt, the pro bowlers. And these wins was all pro and a pro bowler. Then the Pace was an all pro and a pro bowler. Adam Tinnerman, Tinnerman was a pro bowler, so they had a lot of talent on this team. Yeah, I mean, when you look at that Super Bowl against the, uh, the Patriots, man, they just did not get the job done. You know, the New England Patriots forced three turnovers. They converted them into 17 points. And they committed no turnovers themselves to the uh, Patriots. So when you play in the Super Bowl, you highly favored. You cannot turn the ball over, and that's what they did. They picked the wrong gang to really make mistakes. And despite outgaining the Patriots 427, 267 total yards, New England forced three turnovers converted them into 17 points and committed no terms themselves. Now they was able to come back from 17-3 deficit. Uh, Kurt Warner scored on the two yard touchdown run. And then uh, they tied it with uh, Ricky Pro scoring a 26 yard touchdown catch from Kurt Warren to tie that 17-17 with 1.30 to go. So it showed you, that despite the mistakes that they were making in that Super Bowl, they were still capable of coming back. And that's what they did. So, um, but the Patriots had no time else left. And John Madden, who was doing the game, declared famously that the Patriots should run the clock out and go to overtime. But New England decided to go for the win. Tom Brady opened up with three completions of running back J.R. Redmond which moved the ball to 41-yard line with 33 seconds left. After an incomplete pass to a 23-yard pass to Troy Brown, followed it up with a six-yard completion to tight end Jermaine Wiggins to advance to the 30-yard line at the Rams' 30-yard line. Then uh, Brady spiked it with seven seconds left. Then Adam Vinatieri hit, you know, a 48-yard field goal attempt. And it sailed through the uprights and as time expired. And it marked the first time in Super Bowl history that a game had been won by a score on the final play. Now, the defeat, Kurt Warner had three, three, for 365 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, 28 out of 44. That, at the time, that was the second highest 
total to his record, 414 at that time. Isaiah Hakeem had five catches for 90 yards. Marshall Falk caught four passes for 54 yards, 76 yard rushing. Um, for the Patriots, Antoine Smith ran for 92 yards, caught a pass for four yards. Troy Brown was the Patriots leading receiver with six catches for 89 yards, a 15 yard kickoff return, a four yard punt return, giving him 108 total yards. So that was one of you know, those Super Bowls where you're a Rams fan, you thought you were going to have maybe a potential dynasty for your own self. But that win launched the dynasty for the Patriots. They went on, went on, go on to win six uh, Super Bowls and, uh, since 2001 all the way to 2018. It's had a great run between Brady and Belichick. So that concludes part 66 about the professional sports teams that didn't win the championship during that season. Definitely the 2001. Uh, St. Louis Rams definitely fit the bill because they had an explosive team. They were 14 and 2. They were loaded with talent. They were the greatest show on turf for a reason. But they picked the wrong time to not really capitalize and do what they do best during the uh, postseason, the regular season, respectively. And did not do that in the uh, Super Bowl, even though they came back from a 17 3 deficit to tie it. They lost in the final seconds on an average survey field goal from 48 yards out. So that concludes this video. Please like, subscribe to the channel. I'm Rashad Mitchell. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.